Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin will not seek re-election. Good morning, I'm Amy Jung. We're following breaking news with major implications involving the future of city government. Chris Daniels joins us live now in Seattle. And Chris, you just spoke with the mayor. What did she have to say? Yeah, I spoke with the mayor a bit earlier this morning, Mimi. She is breaking the news to her closest colleagues and department heads in Seattle city government that she will not run for re-election for a second term as Seattle mayor. It is a bit of a political bombshell now that causes all sorts of wakes in terms of who may want to position themselves to run for Seattle mayor and what that could mean for the Seattle City Council as well. Durkin made this decision, I am told, within the last couple of weeks after discussing it with her family over the Thanksgiving holiday and came to the conclusion on Friday that she would not run and it was just a matter of how she would break this news to her closest colleagues and fundraisers. Earlier this morning, as you noted, Mimi, I had a chance to ask the mayor directly why she has made this decision and here is what she had to tell me. 2020 has just been a brutal year, but we have some really tough months ahead of us. We still have to fight COVID. We've got to deliver a vaccine and we're gonna have the really hard job of rebuilding our economy, our downtown and continuing all the work on equity. I could have spent the whole year campaigning to keep the job or I can focus on my energies on doing the job. And I think there's only one right choice for Seattle and that's for me to do the job. Durkin also told me that she is most proud of the legislation that she sponsored to provide free college tuition for Seattle high schoolers, the protections for domestic workers and rideshare drivers, and for creating millions of dollars in new affordable housing. She had planned originally to run for re-election. She had dropped those hints not only with us, but others, and had filed paperwork as back as February to run for re-election. But you just heard what she had to say. Things have changed considerably in this city since then because of the pandemic, the social unrest, and she believes going forward in 2021 that this is the best course of direction as far as the mayor's office is concerned. And obviously, the tongues will start wagging at Seattle City Hall about who may want to run for mayor next. That's the story for now. More coming up today. King 5 News at noon. Live in Seattle, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.